A pick and place trajectory, illustrated here as an example, is amongst the most common applications in robotics. Such a trajectory can be obtained with the use of cables suspending the end effector in the air. Using cables allows for a very large workspace without relying on bulky, rigid links, as well as having only a negligible mass to move to produce the motion. The cables are attached to a rigid frame where motorized drums are located. Usually, each cable requires one actuator to control the length of cable going from the frame to the end effector. In our work, however, we drive both cables with a single actuator. The length of cable that is unwound from the amplification pulleys depends on the location of the idler pulleys, one on each side, as illustrated here. This location is represented here by the letter X. During the pick and place trajectory, a complex and non monotonous variation of X is required. To obtain this motion from a continuous rotation of the actuator, a set of differential non circular pulleys is used. The cable going to the idler is simultaneously wound and unwound from these pulleys. This animation simulates how the constant rotation of the non circular pulleys is transformed into the alternating motion of the idler pulleys. Notice how the central non circular pulleys rotate continuously when traveling along the trajectory in one direction, but both idler pulleys actually move back and forth. Finally, here is a video of a real-life prototype of a cable robot implementing our newly developed mechanical transmission.